it's here it's here i don't know why i'm so excited i'm i'm just stoked to this i love i love dead by daylight's like original content and um i guess i i'm just psyched for this but let's go over the patch notes real quick and uh talk about some of the new stuff that we're getting so portrait of a murder we knew last week that that was going to be the name of this chapter and um obviously crow themed which i'm very excited for i love crows they're so cool i'm glad like more crow lore is coming in all right let's do this i haven't looked at any of this yet normally like normally i'm working and so like i'll read these and then i'll make a video later this is me first time just fresh first glance and i already see something <laughs> there's a new map yes oh god i knew it i knew everybody was saying that the map was for the conjuring but um the coordinates so when they were releasing like the pictures for everything that like fake website if you clicked anything it sent you to a page with a bunch of weird numbers and there were coordinates on it and the coordinates took you to Buena Lenoria where there's a pretty famous cemetery so I thought it might be tied to that I don't think it's exactly that but I thought that the map might be for this chapter so I was right <laughs> unless we're getting a, another one as well if Conjuring does come but I'm not confident with Conjuring anyway um the ptv will be at 11 a.m cannot wait we got the new killer the artist and the new survivor jonah vasquez perfect let's go to the patch notes so perks grim embrace scourge hug pain cool we get another scourge hug and a new hex love that it looks like we also get a new boon exponential Ooh, overcome card garishment Slow down customization menus. Now have page markers. Page markers include the number of the page. Markers can be directly selected to jump to the desired page. <gasps> Wait, that's going to make like going through perks easier if it's what I think it is. We'll confirm when we're in there. That'll be another video. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, added subtitles to the HUD. Good. Uh, added a new slash sale badge to the store. Oh, that's fine. Let's see, re-enabled location restriction when snuffing boon totems. Okay, so hopefully that means they fix the boons. They updated some more character portraits. They also updated the background images in the character info and store menus um, for the ones that they've updated for the portraits. We're gonna take a look at those. That's gonna be pretty neat. Um, added input prompts for the anti-hemorrhagic syringe cryptic agents, and glass beads add-ons. Nice! We're gonna have to try those out. The store DLC purchase pop-up. I don't care about the store. <laughs> they updated the Cenobite. Okay. So, liquefied gore, solving time increased by one second. So they nerfed that. Torture pillar, chain on activation time reduced by five seconds. So they nerfed that. Um... Larry's remains solving the increase solving time increased by two seconds. They nerfed that. They buffed Chatterer's tooth, so the undetectable status from 12 to 25 seconds. Engineer's Fang. When hitting an injured survivor with a possessed chain, only one additional chain will spawn. Okay. That's a nerf to it, right? I think. And iridescent limit configuration range is now 24 meters, so they nerfed that. Buffed it for the survivor side, but nerfed it for killer. I'm fine with that. I think um, Cenobite had some pretty busted <laughs> add-ons. Um, they could get pretty ridiculous. I don't think there's an issue with like his power or his kit or anything like that. But yeah, his. I'm glad they took a glance at some of his add-ons. Optimize the spirit's performance. The spirit has, spirit has the largest impact on performance of any killer. Technically speaking, performance optimizations should help alleviate that on all platforms. Hmm, okay. And they fixed a bunch of bugs. Let's see. Fix an issue that allows survivors to consume other survivors' clairvoyance perk. Fix an issue that caused boom vignettes to appear when moving between overlapping boon ranges. Fix an issue that may cause the boon totem vignette to linger when the survivor who applied a boon leaves the match. Uh, 
caused a hitch to occur at the end of vaults with the legion never noticed that never played i haven't played hag haven't played against hag i haven't played against a fright night i played against her i had like one fright night this weekend but what nightmare plays dream snares which would not be seen from below top of stairs that's nutty i wish they kept that <laughs> Fix an issue that may cause the sound notification for the fourth generator completed not to trigger. Good. Oh my gosh. That was, that was annoying on like both sides. That was annoying. I'm glad they fixed that. Uh, the cause placeholder icon to be seen when affected by another player's leader perk. The cause of the gun special effects to be heard when entering into the tally screen. Oh. Well. Uh. I don't think survivors could hear that, but I haven't been up a death slinger, up against a death slinger, and since they nerfed him, that caused non-lethal interruptions not to grant progress toward the quick draw achievement. Okay, I already have that, so I wasn't concerned. But good news for everyone who hasn't gotten that achievement yet. And fixed an issue where players could unlock achievements when playing on the PTB environment. <laughs> That is actually a thing. I noticed that in the last PTV. I forget what achievement I got, but I got an achievement in the PTV, and I was like, that's not right. Um, it had to have been one of the killer achievements. But anyway, fixed an issue where sometimes the camera in the killer lobby would be off center. Interesting. Never noticed that. Okay. So obviously the public test build, we're gonna have some bugs in this. So before I actually uh download the ptv let's see what we can expect some subtitles for the trickster have not been fully translated into all languages trickster has subtitles i need to i need to turn subtitles on because i'm gonna do that anyway doors powered by generators appear closer for the players who did not complete the generator visual only bug okay Players are able to land on top of a generator inside the tower in the Eerie of Crows map. I'm so excited for a new map. Some facial animation issues for some survivors when chained by Cenobite. <laughs> the auras of the artist's crow flock is missing when the artist is very close to the affected survivor. And recovery speed stacks when between two boon totems affected by boon exponential interesting that definitely shouldn't happen that's basically like what circle of healing was on the ptv which i agree the the boons should not stack with other instances of themselves they're very strong perks i don't think they're overpowered but they're very strong and that's just unnecessary that tells me before we're even in the ptv that i think exponential sounds like a like a boon vigil essentially but we'll have to see anyway thank you for going through the notes with me i'm very excited i hope you're excited and um look forward to this week just being a bunch of videos about the new chapter because i am stoked and i'm gonna jump into this immediately and i'll talk to you guys later bye <laughs>